I think we are ready for a new event. Now, I'm going to announce this. I haven't quite figured out if I want to do the newer version of this course or the vintage version. Uh, we're going to try out both versions that, that I found online here. Um, I took one... I, I took a, a lap or two through this already, and it's the perfect length for an event similar to what we did last time. And it's a pretty well-known location as well. So... Let's go ahead and take some runs through this and see how it feels. I took uh, one or two runs through this. I think I took actually just one, but... Hey, how you doing, Cart? Oh, shit. Um, yeah, so hopefully uh, this would be a really cool, less closed-in hill climb here. So we can probably get some higher speeds and a little bit more action. I haven't quite figured out all the corners yet, but we'll, we'll see what's going on. I think this is like the, yeah, that big wall area. Okay. And I think it ends after this long corner here. Uh oh. Yeah. So here's the finish. Now, I, I think we're going to still have to do the back to pits thing. So that was a, a 53-115. Um, so I, I don't think there's a way to loop back around. Let me see. There might have been something I missed last time. If we go this way. No, there's no way to loop back around. It's just literally like you just turn around right here and then I guess you'd go back. I, I, doesn't seem like that makes much sense, but... Um, okay, so I guess we, we would still have to do the back to pits method, uh, but that, that's okay. This, this is where it starts off pretty close to the, the finish. Um, and one thing I didn't take in, into account here is how many pit boxes are there. So th I guess this whole, okay, this whole thing looks like, oh, it goes back pretty far. Wait, is this... Okay, that's the end. What is going on with the frame rate here? Really strange. Maybe it's not meant to go this way? Okay, so there are... What is going on? Let's, let's restart the session here. Let's see what's going on there. Let's see if it does that again. Well, that was weird. Oh, no, it's doing it again. Whoa. I don't know if it... It says I have 240 frames per second. No, now it's dropping to 120. What is going on there? Got your PC built? Got you a D29 and started iRacing? Played some Richard Burns? Nice. Um, well, you're getting there, man. Let's, tr let's try to exit this and try something different here. I'm going to send this link to... My dad here. This is the, the software used by the way, wetransfer.com. It's like one of the best ways to, to send up to two gigabytes, I think. Or is it two to, or five? Yeah, two gigabytes for free. And you can send more, uh, where is it? $10 a month to, to send 200 gigabytes. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, wetransfer is awesome. Uh, I, I use it to, to, to for pretty much every, every kind of file transfer nowadays. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, by the way, Dad, I'm gonna send you this this new thing. Oops. I'm gonna send this to you really quick. Uh, so you can test that out. Uh, what are we playing today? We're doing a set of Corsa. I'm doing an announcement for the next... Oh, I, I need to check how many pit boxes this has. Because that's pretty important. Let me Let me try to go back, actually. Let me go back here. Um, I'm going to do a little preview of the track, Dad, for you in case you haven't seen it. But it, it looks like it'll be good. Um, that's the high-quality version. So how many... How many? Oh, that's opponent strength. So it looks like it has, I think, 30, 30 pits. I think. 
that would be perfect. I, I would like to get more people in the next event than uh, we got nine last time. We had 12 confirmed, but only nine people showed up. Um, let, let's try the, the vintage version of this. This is good wood. It looks like it has like a full loop. I don't know if that's just like a... Just the hill climb part? I have no idea. <laughs> there you go, Dad. So I sent, I sent both of these uh, files to you, Dad. Um, the vintage version and the 2017 version that we just kind of ran through really quick. So, uh oh. Okay, it looks like... Oh, this is like a, like a track version, I think. Okay, this doesn't look anywhere near as good. Okay, so this is not what we want. So I guess we, we're kind of forced to go with... Uh, unless there's different layouts. Is there different layouts? I don't think there's different layouts. Okay, so it looks like we have to go to the... Oh, oh never mind. The so Goodwood track and hill climb are different things. They have a wet version too. Okay. Anyway, let, let's let's try this again and I'll just do practice here. But I sent you those folders, so if you could go ahead and get download those sometime soon, because as long as we can get um, a similar amount of people in here. Let's see if the frame rate's all messed up again. We need to do some, like, some testing on this, but... But this is a lot less tech of a... Uh, course. Is this starting me off in the right spot? And it looks pretty decent. This one was made in 2019, I believe, this course. Um, in a set of Corsa. It's the 2017 version of the course, though. Uh oh but it looks a little bit less brutal. Obviously, we don't want to do like cuts like that, but um, I don't know what, what's allowed cut-wise. Like, you know, uh, if, if we were to do this online, if, if those cuts would count. But uh, it's it's about a minute or less to, to finish it. In, at least in this car, I'm not sure I'm gonna choose this car again. I like this car a lot, uh, but I, I'm thinking maybe, I don't know. That was a 51.558. Uh, let's see if we can get like a, a 50 right now. Just kind of see what the the limitations of the, the car and the course are. This is the uh, pit area, I guess. This is what we, we would do to line up. I think the hill climb is going to, or the hill climb format is going to work the best for us because otherwise we won't be able to watch everyone's run, you know, and I think that's, that's, that's an important factor here. The fact that, that we can uh, watch everyone's individual runs because otherwise it's just, it's, it's just numbers, you know, um, you know, you might occasionally see like, you know, other cars on the course, but it's just numbers. So, so the, it's not, not as fun. I think it's really cool being inside someone else's car and seeing their run from their perspective. Yeah, so I think that's a really important element, uh, at, at least that I want to include in these competitions because uh, I, I just feel like it, it puts a spotlight on people and it gives them a chance to, to shine, you know? And so I do also want to put this here so you can actually see at least, uh, you know, the top whatever. I don't know if you can scroll down on this leaderboard, but I want to try to figure out like a tool so we can see updated lap times and obviously like um if i have to I, I can just move this over you know uh so you can see a little bit more clearly something like that um i don't know if you can make this bigger no it doesn't look like you can i guess as big as you can make it but something like that so we could uh you know monitor people's times a little bit better because i i realized watching the stream back that and until I announced what people's times were, people had no idea what the, the, the newest, best times were. I mean, I, I was announcing them, but it's, it's nice to have the, visu the visual representation of the times as well. 
Oh, thanks, Nex. But yeah, so, um, as long as there's enough hitboxes, I think this will be, I'm pretty, I'm pretty positive that this will be the next event. So, I haven't come up with a time yet. I haven't come up with a, I might try Saturday this time, see if it, see if it reaches more people, because I realize for people that are religious, you know, Sunday might not be a good time for them. So, um... I, I was limiting, you know, part of the audience like that, but I just figured, you know, that, um, I just figured that Sunday would be a better day. Oh, look, we got more realistic hay bales. I mean, obviously they just disappear into nothingness, but I wonder if they stay gone the entire time. Let's, let's try to run all these over and see if they're here for the next, oh wait, do these do it too? No. Okay, so it's just the outside ones. Let's see if any of these do. No, okay, these are all solid. Let's see if we, we respawn. Does it stay gone for the rest of the time? Because that's kind of, that, that'll be kind of interesting. This is good testing here to see if uh, the course is just going to get more and more beat up. Or does it reset each time? Okay, there's a pit limiter right there too. So that'd be kind of better uh, so people don't haul ass too much in that part. Okay. We're not really going for any time here. We're just kind of seeing if those hay bales are... Where are they? I think they were after this corner. No. Oh. I don't know what I was doing there. Okay, here's where they... Okay. So it looked like maybe they did reset? Let's see if we can move one onto the course and, and see if it'll stay. Oh, look, we do have it on the course. Okay, so that might be a problem. That might be a pretty big pro- Well, they don't actually affect the car physics-wise, so maybe it won't really interfere with people's times. Yeah, it looks like they don't actually have any physical properties other than movement. So, so maybe it won't damage your car. Okay, let's see if there's any other instances of hay bales, because I feel like those will get pushed out of the way pretty quickly, and I don't think they'll interfere more than like once or twice if they were to interfere. There's more hay bales over here, but I think those would be kind of hard pressed to hit those on the right there. Unless you just got kind of got lost in, in the sea of hay bales. I think this is the final corner. Yeah. Okay. So that might be a problem. Let's see. It's just pretty good. Bundaberg. Sparkling lemonade. Forty-three grams of sugar in this. Jesus. Made in Austra Australia. Wow. What are y'all thoughts on, on this one so far? I know there's not a whole lot of people in here, but uh, the people that are in here, what do you think about the vibe of this course? What do you think about... Uh, I, I think this this will go smoother than the last one because there's a, less, there's a lot less obstacles that, that can just bring your car to an absolute halt. So I, th I think this will be a better overall location for this kind of event. Um... And it's a little bit more flowy, so, so you can get up to speed with with less slowdown. I personally like, like super tech stuff. Um, but I think this will be a little bit more fun for competitors. No, no, uh, we're, we're going to do probably best of... Um, I mean, we did. I think we did six runs per competitor last time. And that was... But we only had nine people, so we could do that for time reasons. But if we had... I want to get like, say, twenty people for this event. So if we get like twenty people. I think like three runs, something like that. Looks like it'd be fun. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is the first time I've I've even been on this virtually. I've seen this event, I say a handful of times. Uh, I see it in a lot of videos, like where like a lot of concept cars get shown off. So, I'm I'm somewhat familiar with it. Like, um. You know, like when when new cars are like you know in development or or 
or finalized, you know, they, they kind of bring it to Goodwood to, you know, show it off in front of a crowd. I keep on thinking there's a six gear in this car for some reason, but... Um, I don't know the, the lines at all. Yeah, those hay bales might be a problem. And I think the hay bales are going to render in a different location for everyone. So that might be kind of confusing too. Because, l let's say, that, like, for instance, that hay bale we just passed, someone's going to go around that maybe naturally, but, and, and we're going to watch the run from my perspective, right? So on my screen, that hay bale might not be in that location, so it might be, like, kind of confusing to watch some people's runs. Um, if we use the same qualifier format, uh, which I think is going to work the best because it, it only shows the fastest time, so it's, it kind of simplifies the whole process. I don't know, if, maybe, maybe there's a better way to, to, to do it, but... Tom, what's up? This is, this is the, the, gonna be the next course, so if anyone wants to download it right now, uh, it's called the uh, Goodwood Festival 2017, I think, is the, na the name of this course. So, um, we're just kind of familiarizing ourselves with it, and we're also kind of getting a feel for where some of the complexities are going to arise. So, I, I think overall it's going to be a simpler course to do, but those hay bales are going to kind of... Those, that's pretty much my only concern, and, and the fact that they're going to be dynamic and different for everybody is going to be kind of weird, I think. But I think it's going to be nice. Uh, I'm not, not sure about the same car yet, Tom. Uh, I'm considering using the same car, not only because I love this car, um, and, and it's great for this kind of stuff, but also because if, if the, the current competitors uh, are going to rejoin this event, you know, for event two... They already have half half the equation, so it'll be you know because I had I'd say like two or three people reach out to me be, before the first event saying like hey I don't have the car I have the track but I don't have the car I don't know what happened I, you know so in that case that's one less complexity that we we would have to deal with for for returning competitors at least but I haven't decided yet um, I think for my own personal enjoyment. I'd like to use maybe an older car, like an older five-speed car, so I, I could compete with a an H-pattern shifter. Um, I'm not saying that everyone else would have to do that as well, um, because not a, not everyone has a shifter uh, that would be appropriate for that. But um, I, I just like that for myself, just for fun. So I was thinking about maybe like an older car. Um, I haven't decided yet, though. We're just kind of like running through it, getting a feel for the course, and, and uh, trying to figure out if there's going to be any, any problems. It says, uh... It was a blast, yeah. I think it's pretty good, short, and has some decent fast-paced corners. These short courses allow for more runs. Yes, that, that's my, my goal next. I was thinking about, um, you know, just doing a straight-up rally event. The, the problem with, with doing that, though, is... Well... I'm not, I'm not saying people wouldn't be capable because of, cor because of course everyone that plays this game and has content manager and has this and has that, whatever, is capable of doing this. But the problem is I, I don't think a lot, a lot of people would have the patience to set up a dedicated mod for the co-driver pace notes mod. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about here. This is what I, I would I would like people to do, maybe not maybe not on, on this particular course, but let me just get, give you an example here. This is the uh, the Patrick Bruner co-driver mod. Um, I, I have a voice pack that uh, differs from the, the the standard version of this, so it's a little bit more natural sounding. But I, I can actually record pace notes for anything. Um, Recording the recce, drive smoothly, stay in the middle. So we're just gonna run through this kind of slowly. Give you an example of how powerful this this tool is. Um, I would like to be able to do this for uh, for an event, but I just don't think people will have the patience for it, and it might frustrate some people into into not wanting to do the event just because of this one thing. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to make it paid or not. 
Uh, my dad and I talked a long time about uh, being a, either a free or paid event. I think being a paid event kind of uh, makes it to where people want to do better and they, they have like more more of a hunger for uh, their their competitive nature. But uh, and I, I think pe you know people people take an event more seriously when there's cash involved or when there are prizes involved. That that's what what my goal was. Um, I'm not like trying to do like a cash grab. Like, I think I made like what is it eight dollars or something like that on, oh, on the last sword. event. Um, oh, actually, Bearded Warrior donated so, some to the event. Oh, um, so I actually made more than that. But but my my basic point is I'm not doing this to to be some money making scheme. Um, my initial goal with that was was just to try to get like a more serious oh. group of people. Not saying that other people that would have joined for free wouldn't take it seriously. But there's a higher likelihood of people not taking it seriously when it's a free event. I've had problems uh, doing community events in the past. Um, and again, I'm not saying it would be replicated, but in the past, like, where, where people kind of do inappropriate things, and then it makes it less fun for everyone else. Um, and I, I wanted to avoid that. I, I wanted the event to be a serious event so we could grow upon the foundation of it being a serious event. That, that's, that's, that was my, my goal, right? Um... Anyway, so let me, let me show you how this works here. Optimization, end of recce recording. Okay, so now we would go back to the pits here, and we go up to starting line. I can't figure out how to, how to make the uh, the countdown noise uh, quieter. It's it's so fucking loud. You you can lower the the voice of the code driver, but you can't lower that noise. But let me let me show you here. Hold your ears. I need I don't have my gear indicator, so I don't. So I'm hoping I'm in neutral there, okay. Five seconds. 200. Right four. Break 40. Right five minus. Yep. That felt more like a three, but okay. Up. Oh. And right You can flat. adjust it. Flat out. 300. Left four. Long. Break. Flat out. Two hundred. That was still part right of the four. Five, short. Into left flat. Eighty. That was. Right I don't know if I agree with that, but. Uh, left six. One fifty. Over finish. Definitely agree with that being a six. Anyway, um, th but they weren't perfect pace notes, but th the tool is, is is very... It's the best pace note tool there is for a set of Corsa. Um, but anyway, to, to kind of install it and, and to get it activated is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, so I don't know if I want to I want to include that in an event because it would be an unfair... It'd be unfair for me to use that tool and then, you know, do like an actual longer rally course and give someone one run. And if they didn't know how to set the the that code driver application up it, it'll it'll cause you know unequal it won't be as fair and the problem also is the quality of the pace notes because for instance th this tool every time you straighten out the wheel that ends the pace note right so if, if someone does a lot of corrective steering and, and maybe they don't know how to use the tool even though i have a, a tutorial on how to use it um if, if they don't by some chance you know, reference that video of mine or or some kind of online tutorial how to use it, uh, they might use the, the tool improperly and get really inaccurate pace notes, and that might be a factor in, in how fast they're able to go when it comes down to the actual run. Uh, or or another, another example is maybe someone doesn't know what pace notes are, and, and they're, they're unfamiliar with them. Maybe they've heard them over the years, and they, they, they've never taken the time to, to learn them. That would be a problem as well. So if, if if, if people don't know what the pace notes mean. So there's, there's like a lot of extra headaches that, that come along with, with hosting like a rally dedicated event. Unless you're playing a dedicated rally game, then you pretty much guarantee everyone knows what the hell uh, they're hearing and looking at. Um, but in that case, I, I would just do an event either in, in you know, WC23 or uh, RBR or something like that. If I wanted like a dedicated rally event, the reason I, I chose a set of Corsa is because uh, the majority of sim racers have a set of Corsa. It's like the first 
sim racing game everybody should own. Um, let's see what, what I missed here. Uh, there's, yeah, there's not going to be pace notes for this event, no. Hay bale position is client side only, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so, Nex. You don't mind? It makes it more competitive. Yes, I, I, I agree. Um, and, and I think, you know, people like, like Tom, you know, made it to where... You know, by, by donating those free slots, it, it kind of made it to where th there was no actual barrier for people that maybe couldn't afford it. It's just if people wanted to invest their time, that, that was the actual investment. The, the people that didn't mind paying did pay. The people that couldn't pay or didn't want to pay, there, there, were, there, were, uh, there was even two slots left over that were, were still open for free that no one took advantage of. So I think... It was more about just how many people are, are, are willing or able to uh, invest their time in the event. So th that was the, the biggest barrier. Um, and that's why I set it at $5 because it's, it's enough money to where, you know, you don't want to throw it away, right? $5 is still a decent amount of money. Like, you don't want to just, like, take a, a $5 bill, crumple it up, and throw it away in the garbage. You, you wouldn't do that. Someone might do that with a penny, Right. I mean, I, I wouldn't do that, but someone might just like, you know, like flip a penny in the ocean and be like, oh, who cares, you know, but they wouldn't throw a $5 bill in the ocean for no reason, right? So it, it's enough money to where, uh, I mean, don't litter in the ocean. It's enough money to where it's it's not like a, a crazy amount, but it, it was enough to where you, you feel a little bit more invested in the, the event, I think. Do I take donations? Um, I mean, obviously I take donations. I don't like require them for any content or anything like that um but i mean the, the money for the last event was somewhat of a requirement but uh yeah like like uh bearded warrior did make it to where that that barrier was not a factor so anyway um let's go ahead and and try to get a decent time here Th i have decided though this is definitely going to be the, the next location for the next event so Trent, what's up Um, how? Oh, you mean like, uh, are you talking about for this upcoming event, Dirty Gas? Are you wanting to join the next event? Or, or you mean on the actual stream? I don't actually know how, to, how, how people are donating on the stream, so I have no advice for you on that. Um, I, I have seen people do it, but, um, like, don't, don't feel obligated to do that kind of stuff, but, um, I mean, obviously, if you want to, I'm not going to oppose it. Be like, you, don't you dare send me money. You know, I'm not going to like... <laughs> um, anyway. So, yeah, this is Goodwood 2017. Keep on trying to get into sixth gear here. Uh, we're just going to take a, a few more laps here, and then maybe we'll do some uh, multiplayer on WC. And uh, if anyone wants to join in, you're welcome to it. But just kind of get a feel for this here. I sent this file to my dad. Um, so if you do end up joining the, this event, I haven't quite announced a date yet. The rules will be the same. I'm going to try to keep the rules exactly the same. Um, I don't think we have to add or subtract any rules from the last event. Um, just got home. I impulse bought a, a red tailed shark. What, the, what do you, what do you mean? What is it? Oh, you mean like a fish? Look at your name, Dirty Gas Petal Liquor. <laughs> I... Oh, thank you. Appreciate that, man. It's a fish. It gets six inches long. It's So it's a... Is it a shower or a grower? <laughs> okay, we're, we're going to do... Um, let's do two serious attempts at this. I think my, my fastest time was a 51... Yeah, 51.5, I guess. So let's go ahead and and do um <laughs> let's do two more tries of this and then we're gonna go ahead and play some WRC. I just wanted to kind of announce this and kind of give you my thought process for why I chose this one over um You know what? Actually, maybe I should put this up to the community here. We have enough. How many people do we have in here right now? 
I don't think we have too many people in here. Is it like 10 people or something like that, or eight people? Can someone let me know? Um, if we have enough people in here, if we have like 10 or more people here, maybe, maybe I should do like a little voting, you know, uh, he's literally not, not a, not a big deal. We'll have to put him in another tank, bigger fish. Get a fucking giant tank for him. Don't, please, please, please get a giant tank for that fish. Like, uh, or, or build a swimming pool in your backyard or something. Just to be chatting here? No. There's nine. Okay, oh, not nine's a decent number. I know that's less than what I just said. Uh, okay, so here are your choices. Goodwood. Uh, um, okay, so 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 we're gonna do do a decent run here. I need a, uh, I need my uh my RPM gauge thing here. So we'll try to put down a decent run here. Oh, I probably shouldn't cut that much, but I there's, there's a worn grass right there, so I, I know what happens. Okay, there's no more six gear. I keep on trying to. Ooh, that was a late break. Okay, we're holding on to it. See you later, hay bale. I, I think I'm in fifth gear. Okay, I actually I don't need a break right there. I don't think I can probably just be off throttle. Maybe I can just be off throttle here too. Yeah, okay. This is a pretty fast uh, little course. So that, that's probably not going to be a good time here. Yeah, it was a 52.04. So let's go ahead and try one more now that I know that I can kind of squeeze a little bit more out of these corners here. Uh, no, good, good wood, not hood wood. <laughs> um, yeah, like you have to drive as fast as possible to avoid uh, a, a potential drive-by. And you have to dodge, like, um, people in other cars with, uh, full arsenals. Here we go. Oop, okay. Lost a little bit right there, but... Maximize that corner a little bit more. Okay, I think we're in fifth gear. That's a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna try to just go wide and a little bit less. Okay, that, that's a risky little area. Off throttle. Oh, okay. Never mind. I, I gained too much speed on the last set of corners. This one's not gonna count, but we'll see if, how much we could get if we didn't smack into the wall there. That was a 49.6. So. I need to remember, like, if I make it through that first set of corners pretty decently, I, I, I'm carrying too much speed. Let me try it one more time just so I can get, get an actual time without crashing, because I don't like that. Um. Okay, th there's a pit limiter right here, so you can't go any faster than this. So I think that'd be nice. Uh, so in case, like, we have a, a lineup of, you know, a bunch of people, it won't get too hectic. He's got to have a 75 gallon once he's full grown. Um, oh, he's only two inches. Hey. Okay, here we go. That's good. That's a tough little first corner. It's got, it feels a little bit off camber or something. I hope I cut too much there. Uh, okay, that was pretty poor on that one. Okay, this is the one where I can go off throttle, I think. Yep, and then back on right here. And then I'm going to have to actually slow down. Okay. But then I'm like kind of bogging down in this uphill, slightly more uphill section. So maybe I'll downshift right there. Let's see what that one is. Okay, that was a 48.8. Okay, so we know, we know uh, you know, sub... 50s is going to be possible in, in these modern cars, but who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll change, we'll change it up. Like uh, maybe it won't be that car. Anyway, okay. So this course or uh, what's that other, other one that I was considering? It was with an M. Oh, this one or this Mat Matsuga Dake. This one's a little bit more confusing, and I, I think 
That's not going to be its favor, but you let me know which one you like better out of these two. This is another one I, I, I've been considering because it, it's short enough. It says, uh, how have you been? Oh, okay. You talking to someone else? You feel bad for some fish because if you ask me, fish are the most mistreated. Yeah, they are because a lot of people think fish are fucking stupid. Fish are not stupid. Fish are very intelligent. Here, here okay, here, here's what you got to remember. Every single creature is a genius in its own environment. There is no smarter creature than the creature that 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 lives in these different environments, right? Like the, we go to the, their territory and we're out of the element. We're fucking stupid as hell. Like when we're in their environment, they're like, "Oh, what do we do?" Like, what you know, like everything is is, is as smart as it can possibly be for what it is. If that makes sense. I mean, obviously, like. Certain things have roles if they're like predator or prey, stuff like that you can factor in. But what what I'm saying is, you know, you go, you look at a goat or a sheep and they, they look dumb, right? Like you look at their face and it's all, you know, like, but that doesn't mean they're dumb just because they look fucking dumb. Like they, they're absolute geniuses at what, whatever sheep and, and goats do, right? Like what about those mountain goats? They're just like climbing up straight up walls like. I mean, that doesn't necessarily take, in, take in, uh, a crazy amount of intelligence to, to climb up something. But I think you, you get what I'm saying. You know, you, you have to have... Maybe maybe it's a different kind of intelligence, but you have to be fucking intelligent uh, to, sur to sur survive. You just have to be. You know? You have to have some kind of intelligence. Otherwise, you're... Um, I mean, they've, they've even determined plants have intelligence. So, you know... Don't don't begin a superiority complex on me over here. Um, also, people pet fish. Fish enjoy. Um, maybe not all fish. Maybe not like a, like. I don't know. Some fish probably get annoyed by. But, but there's a lot of fish that enjoy the company of humans, and other creatures and stuff like that. And it, uh, a lot of things behave more animal-like when they're starving to death, right? Even us, right? Like, people don't consider humans animals. We are animals. We're, we have all the same stuff as every other animal in this kingdom, right? We got blood. We got fucking guts. We got all the same shit. So don't think we're special. We're special in, in, in our own way. But anyway, um, what I'm trying to say here is everything acts differently when it's hungry as hell, right? You look at a lion that's starving to death, it's going to attack you, right? You look at a well-fed lion, and, and they can be pretty cool. You can hang out with them, and you can pet them. I wouldn't do that if, because I'm not in that world, but but some people do that, right? Like, like every creature can be friendly if, uh, if they're comfortable and they're well-fed. So uh, maybe, maybe not every creature because some creatures ha have... Uh, <laughs> medulla oblum god of problems but uh that goes for humans too there's some humans you just can't get along with because something wrong with their medulla oblum gata. anyway here we go uh oh shit so this is a Mat matsudake or something like that um actually let me go back to the pits here so you can kind of see where it actually starts Bubble guppies. <laughs> hey, there you go. Your, your guppies will swim up your fingers and nip at them. Can you get a pet SpongeBob? You mean like, uh... I mean... I don't know. If, if, is that legal? <laughs> I'd be friends with SpongeBob. Patrick seems like he'd be pretty cool to hang out with, too. Um... Uh, Oh, wait, that, I think that was the start there. So this is the start line for this one. This one's a lot more tech. About the same length. So this is the start line. Oh, we'll gear him in. I need to get my gear back on here. Um, where is it? Gears. Why is my gears not displaying anymore? Interesting. And Essentials is not displaying anymore either. 
Very strange. Huh. Um, uh, maybe I'll have to restart it, but I, I, I can't get my gears to work. I, I, I might have to use Sim Hub or something. Oh, I'm going backwards. The classic. Okay. Anyway, so this would be... Uh, I'll show you one lap of this. So it starts off with a pretty brutal chicane. And it goes to this really tight section, uh, I think, after this. Where is it? Yeah, right here. And the, there's a, some train tracks and a uh, really sharp left-hander here. And it, this wood pile is going to claim a lot of souls right there. And then it gets into this section right here. And, and depending on the your suspension setup and everything, like, this part can make you really unstable at speed right here. Just boop! Like, throw you off the course. Then we have a train track. So if, if we're running too low of a car, it'll just destroy you. Um... That part's really tricky, too, at, at high speeds. And... Like, this is already, like, looking like a nightmare for... <laughs> uh, for... I think most people that would... Uh, um... And we have to go to the left here. And that would be... A lap, right there. That's a lap. Now, so, so the problem with this one is that it's a circuit. And there's no defined finish line. The, the start line is the finish line. So, I mean, let's let's just take a vote and see what, what kind of interest level there is in this course. Um, those are, the, by the way, the thickest power lines I have ever seen in my life. Uh, there must be like uh, 1240 volts, you know, not 220, not, not 120, straight up. Uh, 1240 in there. The graphics are good. You claim souls too. Wait a second. Are you by chance a resoler? Sounds like reset time. What, uh, your medulla is very, very oblong. <laughs> there you go. Um, by the way, what do y'all think about this? So you, you like the graphics. Um... I would venture to say this is not like one of the better looking locations uh, graphically, but it, it is very fleshed out with vegetation. I, I agree with that. Um, at first, I pay you, then then send creepy requests. <laughs> what are you What are you talking about there? I mean, if you want to see my 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 toes, I'll I'll show them to you for free right now. Do you guys want to see my toes? Is that is that what you want? I mean, fl a fleshy veggie. Oh, <laughs> well, like an eggplant. Is that what you're talking about? Um. Okay, so what's what's the overall thoughts on this course? Does anyone have any opinion besides it's beautiful? Because if I don't get some interest, uh, oh shit. <laughs> I may have put myself in, 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 a, in a a sticky situation here. What are your thoughts about, about this course, by the way, anybody? Uh oh, <laughs> I may have just gained a, um, a different kind of follower. Does anybody have any, any thoughts on this location? Looks like people are going to wreck, yes. So let me let me show you what a full speed. Like I don't even know if I can if I can do it here, but let me let me show you. I'll try a little bit faster. I'll show you like where some of the, the really tough parts are. Um, like like this is gonna be an absolute nightmare. I mean I, I can't even do it like uh, trying it. You'd have to really get to know this course inside. Oh like that would just. Okay. This is a, a, a good representation of, of, I think, how it would go on the actual event day. It would just be an absolute nightmare. Um, not, not, not even including all the instability you get from, you know, however your suspension is set up. Like, look at that. Instant death around every corner because, I mean, obviously this car is a little bit too low for, for how uneven the pavement is. But, I mean, like, I'm just going at moderate speed here. And I guarantee a lot of people wouldn't even uh, learn the course until the actual day. It's just kind of like how, how it goes a lot of times. So I'm just like barely hanging on, and I've done this course before. 
this is not the best setup for this course, but and that, that would be a lap. Not to mention, I guarantee some people are gonna go to the right. So so right here, let me let me show you here. I guarantee at the end of this course, some people will accidentally go uh, this direction, right? And they'd be like, why the hell didn't my time work out? It's just, I, I think this is just too confusing of a course, right? And, and this is where, where people would like line up, I guess, for the, the next run. But the problem is you don't actually cross the finish line until you go, um, until you go all the way back to the start line. So this is, this just wouldn't be good, I don't think. Um... Yeah, okay, so you're not liking this one. A lot of people are going to wreck. Yeah, I agree, Chris. Says, you think this course looks fine and the challenge would be equal for everyone? Know the course and have a good setup. Yeah, you definitely need to set up the suspension differently, at least. Uh, so you have a little more clearance because the car bottoms out a lot, like uh, like high centers and stuff. Says, uh, but yes, as soon as I add my... Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um... I do appreciate it. So yeah, this one seems to be like out of the question. I think I was kind of thinking it was going to be something different when when I in my mind when I was remembering it. My dad and I were messing around with it. I think on uh, last night or the night before, something like that. I did download a bunch of new courses too. I can't remember the, all the names of them, but I kind of wanted to try a couple of those out. One of them looked really cool. Let me let me see if I can find the. Um, let me see if I can I can recognize some of these names. Porto Piana. That one might be one of it, one of the ones I just downloaded. Whose idea was it to to put the fucking text like right where you need to scroll down, like it should be off to the right. Anyway, um. Oh, this is one of them. This is one. So this is a hill climb. It's this is too long for the for like an event, unless we were doing doing like only a, like one lap. But uh, <laughs> fifty cents. You you can save that. Uh, that that's one of the ones we were, we were looking at, Dad. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, I'm already not liking the the color of the asphalt. Whoa! This guy's like squished. He kind of looks like a... What's that one actor? You know the guy that played next to Frodo? Uh, in Lord of the Rings? He, he Like the sort of... Like his head was kind of squished like that. Anyway. Maybe at a different time of day this would look really good. Oh, okay, it changes immediately. Oh, wow. Brutal chicane here. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this does not look the best here, but... Yeah, okay, this is not looking like... A very convincing location. I have not done this one yet, so I'm just kind of just driving with my eyeballs. I mean, it's a fun layout. The layout feels... Entertaining. I like the trees. I think the tree placement feels kind of kind of natural. It doesn't doesn't scream to me at like a super high quality stage, but it but it was free though, so I mean we we'll, can't really complain about free. It's it's very good for free, but um, doesn't like really strike me as a, a realistic location though uh that that was hairpin right here i don't know what gear i'm in okay well um uh, i'm not really liking this one too much vibes are not the best so let's try a different one here we're gonna do some wrc who who wants to do some uh multiplayer wrc what the hell is the other one that i just downloaded it needs some lights, yeah. You like that one? 
<laughs> don't, don't, don't worry about it, man. Don't, don't feel obligated. Like, uh, for real, like, uh, I, I don't do this for the money. You know, obviously at some point, uh, in my, in my, my life, I, I would like to do this kind of stuff more full-time, uh, content creation full-time. I've always been like somewhat of an entertainer my whole life. I've always done like, you know, music or something, you know, as, Ever since I, I, I've been a teenager, I've been doing, maybe I shouldn't say that because I, I started guitar at, I think at like 16 or 17, something like that. So I shouldn't, shouldn't say always, but for a good majority of my life, I, I've been an entertainer uh, at some capacity. So, so I, obviously I, I would like to do that, but the problem is like when you switch over to something full time, it, it becomes more of like a like a job and it kind of, you know, tightens up the reins on what you're able to do. This one's called Fizzy. I think maybe this is one that I, I downloaded recently. Oh, thanks, man. Cletus McCletus. Cletus McEatus. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, what just happened? Cannot have zero cars. Did I have zero cars? I don't remember having zero cars, because if I'm on the course, how's it zero cars? Tell me that. Game crash. So, oh, you, maybe you have to do it. Maybe it can't be done in practice. Maybe you have to do a race. Let's do, let's do it with one opponent and see what happens. Maybe it'll let us start. Zero cars? Nope. Yeah, it still says, cannot have zero cars in race I and I. The I and I file. Uh, sure, let me see that. Let me see those documents. Show me them documents. Or don't. See if I care. See if I care. I mean, I do care because I, I want to try this, but... Okay, well, let's uh, bypass that one for now. I'm not sure how to fix that. I've never run into a zero cars uh, problem. Okay. Um, Tramo de la Presa. I'm not sure if that's one that I just downloaded or not. Show me your papers. Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure which ones I, I downloaded. I'm just hoping that that like a. Uh, oh wait, this one was. This one might have been one of the other uh, other considerations. That um, let's try this one really quick. Let us try this one very quickly. Okay, this is looking kind of cool. Let's see if... Okay, I'm assuming the start line is not where we are at. I mean, this feels more special. The other one, like, feels a little more legit, but this one kind of feels more special. Is that... Were we at the start line? I'm guessing maybe that was the start line. Oh, this one would be a lot of fun, though. Jesus. Okay. Ooh, yeah, you can't cut right there. This one would be pretty cool. I think this is like twice as long, though. So it might... When people are waiting for their turn, it might be a little bit too much time to wait it would literally literally double the amount of time everyone had to wait oh that would be dangerous okay oh okay yeah this one okay there's a lot less clarity to the the course here so maybe not that one nurja for julia na na oh for julie na 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 
Okay, Nerja Frinjuninima. Let's drink some more of this lemonade. You would die in this course? Yeah, that one seemed pretty brutal. The, the road surface was very unforgiving, like the actual undulations of the road. I'm so tired. Um... Let's uh, load the course here, game. How about how about that? Uh oh. Initializing AI spline. The hell does that mean? I'm guessing spline. Yeah, it's like the AI paths, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been uh, an absolute nightmare in real life if I, if I crashed right there. Hey, we got something different. We got something different. What is going on here? Yep, yep. Maybe it's like a really detailed course. Uh, no, it's actually not detailed at all. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Maybe it changes. Okay. I mean, it's better than, than any course that I've ever made, so I can't talk too much shit, right? Because I, I literally have not uh, made any courses. Okay, well, ran out of gears already. Okay, well, this is boring. Um, we're not going to even... What is this one? Mircole! Mircole! Vizani! Does that mean, uh... Miracle Salami. Why am I? Uh, yeah, I, I got off work at four. It's five fifty. It's five five five. Rally fans know, right? It's at five fifty five right now. Um, I, I only work eight hours. I don't work like you know overtime. I actually made it to where that that can't happen anymore. I only work five days a week, but I I do things outside of work that uh, cause me to be tired and um. I've been taking it easy on the content creation uh, recently because, uh, one, because I have a lot of things upcoming and I, I want to be mentally prepared, so I'm not, like, mentally fatigued for that. Um, there's a lot of videos I, I have planned still and, and there's some reviews. Actually, there's quite a few reviews I'm going to be doing soon. Uh... But yeah, I'm just tired because I I go to bed late and then I wake up. I don't wake up like super early, but my, my chickens wake me up at around like 6 o'clock. And I usually get to bed like around, you know, 12 to 1, something like, like that. So it's not the fact that any one day is just like, like so demanding. It's, it's that the, the days add up and I don't, I don't get good sleep throughout the entire week. And then that adds up until I get to the weekend. And then I sleep into like... Um, well, until my, my chickens wake me up, but then, then I, I wake up to feed them, and then I go back to bed a lot of times for like an hour or two, and I feel a little bit more rested on the weekends, but um, it, it just kind of accumulates, you know? Oh, I remember this course. I remember like making fun of this guy, because like he, he's like, and he's like, you can literally see the polygons on this guy. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Um, kind of a nice, nice course, a little bit of... Uh, the textures are not like the best, but uh, ooh, the sides here are brutal. Like this little, these little stones. Oh shit! These little stones on the left, and this this constant wall is just threatening. And no pace notes. That doesn't help, right? Yeah, this is a, this is a pleasant uh, course, though. Okay, slow down, buddy. We're dead. Oh, oh. We just ought ten it off the, the wall there. That's kind of a nice little thing. That, that that would be worth putting some pace notes to, honestly. Okay, let's go let's go ahead and go to a game where there's some 
Uh, pace notes. <laughs> You're nocturnal, yeah. I work for the post office. USPS. Uh, so you can't tell how many people are, are chatting. No, no, I can't. It doesn't tell me who, who's in the chat. Uh, I'm using an OBS chat tool, so it's kind of like a a third-party application. Uh, I, I could simply just go to my own YouTube live stream and, and determine that, but um, I figure just to kind of optimize... I don't know, know if it even matters, but, you know, the less uh, devices on the same Wi-Fi network, it seems like it'd be logical to me the more efficient it would be for me to send out my signal to you guys. I don't know if that's true or not. Why is this not going? Um... I don't know. I don't even know if that, that worked. Boost, what's up? Does anybody want to race with me and beat my ass in this game? I'm, I'm very tired, and I have not warmed up in this game. But it'll still be fun, regardless. Do you want to play some boost? Does anybody have this game? I can set up a multiplayer lobby. We can do some floodgates. And, uh, you know, do it up real big like. Well, maybe not big, but... I'm probably getting a little bit of a crash, too, from this sugar. There's 43 grams of sugar in this little bottle. Now you got a very chatty creeper. That's fine. I appreciate it. I'm a creeper, too. We can be creepers together. Um, You got a bit. Are you on your PC right now, Boost? Well, in that case, while we're waiting... Uh, let me explain to you how Floodgates works. I need audience participation. Um, now, we're not going to do the, the, the version of Floodgates where you get to choose the wheel because I don't think there's enough people here to... You know what? Fuck it. Let's, let's do that. Like, look, So if someone gets three um, P1s, so a P1 counts if you are in my chat first, right? So when, when I say Floodgates are open, that means you all in the chat respond with the country that you want to see us race in, right? If, I, if I'm doing a multiplayer thing. And then, then we choose that country. And then, uh, you know, and who knows? Maybe I'll let you choose the car class in the car, whatever. That's all like play by ear kind of stuff. But um, so if you get that three times in one stream, not it doesn't have to be three times in a row, but three times in one stream, you get to choose my wheel that I use. And you know, I, I use a bunch of dumb stuff, as a lot of y'all know, right? This is like one of my newer items. Um, and we, have, you know, do little fun little challenges, but, uh, yeah, then I have to, you know, drive the rest of the stage or the entire stage with, with some dumb stuff. So, uh, floodgates are open, everybody. Name a country you want to see us race in. First one I see in the chat is where we go. Major League, what's up? Uh, you're going to be signed up for the rally? Oh, nice. You base shakers came early yesterday, so I'm consuming my whole day getting those. Yeah. The, that's like the worst part about any, any kind of motion or, or, or gear like that is finding right where they feel right for you. Um, so Dirty got it with Austria. Second place got a major league right there. But so Austria, I, I don't think that's in the game. So you still got a P1, but we have to default to, uh, we have to default to whatever countries are actually available in the game. And just so you know, for the future, I'll, I'll show you the, the countries that are available. Um, my allergies are kind of working their way up here. I don't know if it's season for it or not, but... Um, okay, so... Let me check if there is Austria first, but let, let me... Uh, what car class should we do? What rally is this? Um, oh, you mean the, the name of the server? I, I don't know. I don't think I named it yet. It should be like Sleepy Pants, right? Or did it? did I have a chance to name it yet? Oh, here we go. What? I can't name it? I'll just name it Sleepy. There we go. Um, yeah, that's all fine. So we got some, some in the lobby here. Oh, we got... What the hell? Everyone's joining in right now. That's good. Okay. So, uh, what car class should we do here? Oh, where is it? Where is it going to be? It's going to be, um, at Goodwood. Goodwood Festival. The hill climb. 
It's not going to be a rally, though. It's going to be a, a hill climb again. So, oh, Sweden? We can do Sweden. Okay. Let's start it off with... Uh, let's do some, some age pattern shit. I like starting it off with that. So we'll do some Sweden for you. Um, let's, sure, let's do this. Why not? Why not? Okay, so we'll wait for... Um, for boost to get in here. I don't know who those other people were, but we shall see. How how long until uh you want to comment on Goodwood? <laughs> oh, you I mean you can. You are logging on? Okay, cool. So he should be able to find the server here and, and I think that the server name please confirm boost if you can for us if the server name is actually Sleepy, I have no idea if you can if, if that's how it's visible to others when they're looking for it in multiplayer. Um, but yeah, if you if you could confirm if, if it is actually sleepy or not. Yes, it's gonna be on a seto again. Uh, I think it's the best game, um, not only for timekeeping reasons, but also because most people I know have a set of Corsa. Some people don't have Beam. Some people don't have, you know, these rally games that we have. Um. But yeah, like Assetto, you can do any kind of racing discipline on Assetto. Even though it's maybe not the best at any one racing discipline, it's the best in a general sense that you can do all, do everything. Yeah, th there you go, Dirty. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you know, that that's kind of crazy. Like, is that is that the reference? Are they referencing? Or? Server's called... Okay, Sleepy Pants. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. And, and again, this is a public server, so anyone here is is welcome to join. Um, so yeah, so don't, don't feel like this is like only for certain people or whatever. Everyone that's in here that has this game, pop on here if you have the game and you, you want to play it. Does RBR Pro have P Pikes Peak or... Uh, yeah, it has Pikes Peak, yeah. I think there's like two different versions of it. I think there's Pikes Peak. or There might be three different versions of Pikes Peak on RBR Pro. Um, I, I still have RBR Pro and RSF both um, will not work for me right now. I, I haven't taken the time to figure out what's going on. Um, and the only reason I feel comfortable about, about that is, is that when I want to get like more realistic physics fix, you know, that, that fix for me, um, I, I've been gravitating towards BeamNG. So I, I think BeamNG is the future. I, I always have, but it hasn't been that quite there for, for me yet. And now it's kind of finally starting to get there. With, with the new uh, mods that are available. So, um, who is Superior Infidel? Is that someone in the chat here? But yeah, I do want to get back into RBR, but, but the problem is, so for RBR Pro, I can't get out of first gear, no matter what I do. I, I don't know if, if it's a piece of my gear conflicting, um, or something to do with when I change my AMD drivers, I have no idea. Or when I when I switch from NVIDIA to AMD, maybe it's something related there. Um, but I, I tried RSF as well, thinking that, okay, well, maybe RBF Pro just doesn't work for some reason, and maybe RSF will. RSF, I can get out of first gear, but my tires don't grip the surface no matter what I'm on. If I'm on pavement, doesn't matter. It all feels like ice with slicks. And I, and I can't go faster than like five miles an hour. I'm just going, I'm spinning around in circles like going sideways on perfectly dry pavement. I have no idea what's wrong. Um, I've never experienced this stuff. Anyway. <laughs> I'm honey now, okay. You need sleep? Um, you got a sun issue, but I'll be back. Sounds good, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining in. I love Beam too. Here we go. Oh. Oh my god. We're dead. 
Bold. Okay. Well, luckily, this game has no physics whatsoever on damage. And we're fine. <laughs> Are we dead again? No! <laughs> Christ, 60. Turn one right short, 80. Six left, don't cut, 90. Slight left over crest, 130. My door's about to fall right off. Left short, keep in, 60. Five right, 70. Crest, 160. Stay on door! I'm not sure why the door is opening more when I'm going forward, but yeah, it is. I, I didn't hear what she said. Oh no, no! <laughs> <laughs> I've rolled like a million times already. I mean, two rolls, but each roll is worth like 20. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, this is this is probably the best warm-up stage we could we could possibly ask for. Hey, at least my door fell off, so it's not like swinging open and oh, here comes my hood. <laughs> Come on, hood, just pop up. We know where you want to. Show us the goods! 50. That was a horrible turn, but we did our best. Yeah, wait, Paul! Can't you try? See, I'm trying to drive bad. I don't need to try right now. I'm just saying, oh, I just am. Oh, two left. No! I heard the two left, like, way too late. This is, I think, a two left two, right? Okay, yeah. Prices. I have a feeling I'm gonna come in second place, or third place, um, on, the, on this run. Oh shit, she said three right. There we go. Gear. Where's my? My left, my left big toe really hurts for some reason. Short, 
Ocean, three left over jump Titans. 150 over finish. Two stop. Oh wait, that was the finish! Fuck! I thought that was the finish! <laughs> Damn it! Okay, that's Okay, that's the six minute. Twenty-one point six. You had, uh, oh, the same thing happened to you? It wasn't work. What, what, what wasn't working for you, Major League? I couldn't get any speed and constantly spun out in the corner. Set the accelerator. I'll check that. Your arm hurts after that one? Oh, only 25 seconds faster. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you you saw it. I thought I heard finish and then I saw the fucking little sign thing. And I was like, oh, here we go. Okay, everybody. Floodgates are open. Name the country you want to see us race in. Uh, Boost is, is he's really fast. Even on when I'm on my my top level, my top game. So it's going to be very difficult to beat him. Um, regardless of if we do good or not. But, uh, what, what's, uh, yeah, floodgates are open. Name the country you want to see us race in. First one we see in the chat is where we go. Give us a hard one. Who's, who's here, um, who here wants to see us have a rough time? I think we, I think we, uh, I think we deserve some punishment. What do you, what do y'all think? Is anybody still participating? Is anybody still awake? I'm I'm barely awake. I'm fucking tired. I could like literally like lay down and and, and pass out right now if um if I if I lay down. Nobody. We need Dirty in here. Dirty was was doing good. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna select um uh, randomly. Oops, we need to delete this one. Okay. Um. We'll do this random too. Um, Greece. Okay. We'll do. I don't know what car we chose. Hopefully it's something good. So you want to see Greece. Okay. That, that's a P1 for you, Rally. Out. Um, Greece is very difficult. You're right. Let, let's see if we can do winter Greece and see if that makes it more difficult. Do about the same length stage. Six miles on Greece is going to feel like 12 miles for anything else because there's so many fucking crazy corners in Greece. Oh, we're doing Group B real rear wheel drive. Oh, man. This is going to be fun. Yeah. At least I, they're all five speeds. What, what kind of car do y'all think? We've got 15 seconds. I'm going to probably choose this one if I don't see anything. Circler! <laughs> What's up? Um, here we go, I guess. I didn't see anyone. Damn it! You said the Porsche. Oh, you, you did the Porsche. Okay. I did a... Uh, what is it? The BMW, I think? That looks like a Ferrari. Copycats much. Okay. We're gonna go for it, baby. This is gonna be interesting, folks. I'm gonna try not. I'm gonna try to, to to focus on this one, and I'm gonna try not to crash. It's probably not gonna happen. I'm gonna pretty much guarantee. Uh, there's a lot of hairpins on this, and I'm not good with rear-wheel drive cars at all. It's my biggest weakness, I think, as a a driver or a sim sim driver, if you want to call me that. Uh, I almost spend no time at all in rear-wheel drive cars, except if I'm racing, racing with my dad and then in a set of Corsa. But I, I, I very rarely play a set of Corsa, though. But it should be interesting. It seems like Boost is maybe uh, tuning something, so that's not a good sign for me. I feel like he might have something up his... Sleeve. 
Boost, by the way, uh, is Thick Brows on, on here on, on YouTube. So Thick Brows is Boost and vice versa. Okay. Starts 40, two left, good luck. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one, go. 40, late, oh, two I, left. I lit off thinking I was going to spin all my, my, my tires. Three right, Titans one, and six left, 50. Oh, Titans one, I think, right? Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Six right, long, slowly. Right, half long Titans. Into two left short, oh. 30. One right short. Into Doesn't got much right. torque at all in the lower half RPMs. Right, right, and then it has too much in the upper RPMs. It's a five left, 30. Two left, opens, keep in. 30, two right short. And oh. slight left, slight right. Into six left, slowing. Slight right over crest, 40. Caution, 6 left, 80. Made 2 left, 30. 2 right, keep in, 40. Slight right, 60, slowing. Left over bump, 60. Hairpin left, and 2 right, opens long, tightens. 40. Over crest into some five right short 50. One left half long and six right slowing. And turn your pin left, don't cut 50. Two right 50. Six right and five left opens slowing. 50, square right, and one left, 40. Keep right, pass junction. And one left short, and lay two right, 80. Unseen, square left, and here pin right, opens to 30. Ah! Off the rock. Opens, 30. Early two right. And late two left. Titans. And three right. 30. Three left. Half long. Titans. Keep him. 40. Slight left. 50. Oh. Air. Three left sharp. 60. Break. Five left. And one right. Titans. Left over crest and a cute here and right and two right Titans and square left 40 six right over crest open slow slowing 90 two right half long 30 slight left slowing 100 74 right short, 40. One right, 30. Late here and left, Titans, keep in, 80. Caution, two left short, sudden here and right, opens. 40, square right, Titans. Into three left, 40, four right. Right, 30. Lane one left, Titans, 90. Oh. Late 
Lost right there. No, oh, I almost said lost it again. And to right, open south, fifty. Turn acute here, pin left, unseen. Forty six left. And four right short, forty five right, long. Titans four, long. And six left. Six right, into slight left, break, and two left short, keep in, and three right short, into two left short, narrows, 40, six right, slight left, 40. No! Oh, you... I, I what? <laughs> I can't, I thought I was going to be way behind you. Oh, man. I just won by default, but I'll take it. Damn. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, awesome, Bears. They're my, my favorite pedal set. I got a little bit of a squeak in the brake pedal, but I mean, a little bit of lube will fix that, but it hasn't really bothered me enough to fix it. That was awful in your part. Yeah, um... I, I I had a kind of control of the car maybe like 75% of the time. And uh the rest of the time was just actively trying to, to keep it under control. And that is a very hard hard car to drive. Very throttle sensitive. Like you have to really know your rear wheel drive cars to drive those cars well and, and aggressively. Um I think both Boost and I demonstrated that. Uh, or maybe, maybe maybe he he's better with this car. Maybe he's just unfamiliar with the course or the or the location. But um, anyway, okay. Floodgates are open, everybody. Name the country you want to see us race in, and that's where we where we will go. Uh, first one I see in the chat is what what we'll do here. <coughs> you don't do Group B, Kenya. You got it, brother. You're speaking my language. I don't know what language is there. I mean, besides the stereotypical click one that, right? Every, that's what everyone thinks at first, but I'm sure there's a, a billion different languages uh, near there. Okay. The, oh, you want fourth stage? Yeah, the BMW M1 sounds amazing. You're right. So the fourth stage, let's see what you're talking about here. Um, what car should we do here? We're just click, okay, wait, I gotta get. I don't know what we, we picked. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I should have let you pick here. So the fourth stage you said, huh? The one. Okay, so luckily it's a short one. Let's go ahead and do it. Here we go. Let's see what cars we got. Oh, nice. I love these cars. Not too fast, not too slow. Fun to throw around. Do we? Okay. We'll do a we'll do rally one cars for your next boost here. Sorry, I didn't see your, your comment until I opened my eyes. I opened my eyes. I opened my, up my eyes and I saw your comment. Uh, 
Okay. How's everyone doing? Uh, Bears, welcome in. Hello. I don't know why I did that. I need to time this shift knob correctly. It's bothering me, but I kind of, uh, um, this, this nut right here, I don't know if you can see it, but this nut should be like loose. And then it should be like that. Let's see if I can get it close enough with my eyeballs. Oh, wait, I'm going to need to like put like a spacer maybe on the, whatever, that's fine. I'm not looking at it anyway. You guys are though. Whee! Yeah, you know it's like a serious rally when the grass is growing in the road. <laughs> okay. This is going to be fun. Six right, five left. What, uh, I think it's just Sleepy Pants Sim Racing. Five, four, I think. three. Car, but it's a lot of fun. She said 100. Slight left over crest, 40. Four left over crest, long opens, 30. Small crest, 30. One left, long. And slight right, 50. Three right, opens and tightens. One right over crest. Five left over crest and bumps, 70. Five left short and crest, 80. Jump, 120. Late three right, 60. Turn here and right. Where is it? 60, six right, 70. fun that was a cool stage i'm glad you su suggested that <laughs> good job boost 
<laughs> that was a real fun stage. I don't know if I've ever done that stage. I think I've done that stage in reverse. Thank you, man. You as well. Obviously, you. I mean, you beat me. Off of soccer. I'll see you later, man. Major League Soccer. Oh yeah, I don't know if my is my is my rally uh championship active right now. I'm gonna have to check that after this. Floodgates are open, everybody. Name the country you want to see us race in, and that's where we'll go. First one I see in the chat is where we go. Who's here with us? Sound off. Okay, and we'll do some rally one for you. Um, a boost. <laughs> oh yeah, Estonia. You're right. Let's go to Estonia. Dad, we, we did have an Estonia. Actually, wait. Well, technically, my dad should win because he, he did it in time. But if we don't get um, a recommendation soon enough next time, we'll do a Estonia next. Um, I don't... Wait, wait. Is there a Brazil? Okay, I don't think there is a Brazil. So you get the P1, Dad, but we have to default to Estonia because uh, I don't think there is a Brazil. And if there is, I'm sorry, but I don't see one. It might be called something different. We'll do a shorty here. Puraste! Okay. <laughs> there you go, Dad. I'm not, I'm not doing that, by the way. I, I just realized some people might think I'm like, oh, whatever. But no, my, my, that helps crack my uh, my collarbones or whatever the fuck pops when I do that. Um, I'm trying to, like, crack my shoulders or whatever. Look how smooth this wheel looks in the camera here. It is very smooth. Like, all the, all the sort of roughness of this wheel has... Um, there's a little bit, like, left on the top here, but the rest of it's, like, very smooth. <clears throat> I've had to repair this, this, the wheel stitching a couple times in this one. Um, but I, I've used this one the most out of all my wheels. Start 46 right. Good luck. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. 46 right. Opens. 30, slight left over crest, 60, 5 right, slowing, 40, turn square left, around bail, 180. Jesus Christ! Not a good way to start off here. Five right, and crest, I gotta go to the bathroom all of a sudden. <laughs> six right, break. And four left, around bail, 30 crest, and slight right, long. And six left, over crest, don't cut, 30. Five right, over crest, 80, small crest, 50, slight left, long. This is like a high commitment stage. Too much information. Oh, she didn't hear what she said. Okay. We're dead. Oh. <laughs> Right, 120. Four left sharp, 90. 
We might have to end it after this one. I, I gotta go to the bathroom, and it might not be like a. Oh shit! It might not be like a, 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 a slow bathroom here. We might need to take a number dose. I don't even know where we are. Damn. I just got transported to a different dimension. You're back! I gotta go to the bathroom, man. I gotta. It's probably good anyway because I haven't eaten anything since I got off work. I drank like a bunch of sugar though. Oh shit! She said square right! <laughs> That's what happens when you. Oh, when you talk over uh, your co driver, I suppose. Okay. Oh, I don't know what she said. Oh my god. Yeah, this is gonna be our last one for today. Um, definitely gonna have a lot of fun on the upcoming event. I haven't come up with any uh, hard details yet, but I'm thinking about a month from, from now. Kind of like how it was last time. I can't wait for VR in this game. I did sign up. Oh shit. Oh my god. I did sign up, by the way, for the, uh, the, I'm part of the EA Creator Network, so supposedly I, I get early access to certain things, um, so I will be testing out, uh, the VR component, the official VR component of this game, oh no, fuck, oh my god, hey, finally we have something wrong with the car after all those mistakes, um, yeah, I'm gonna be testing out the VR, and it's gonna be a good test because, not many people that I know um, have an AMD card, and I've heard AMD is worse for VR in general, like just for every game, than NVIDIA for whatever reason. So, um, it'll be interesting to see how my card performs. I haven't tested the card at all um, in VR, so it should be interesting to test it out uh, just in general in VR, but um, obviously the, the Unreal Engine VR mod has been out for a good while, and I, I think months now, right? Like, like, someone released a tool that allows you to inject VR pretty much into any pre-existing VR game. Uh, good job, Boost, by the way. Um, I, I think I, I gotta go. I, I, I'm just gonna... Everyone, please keep in mind that about a month from now, that, that, that no, uh, the Goodwood event, the Hill Climb event... Thanks, by the way, Boost. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the, the, so the uh, download Goodwood Now 2017, if uh, the Hill Climb version specifically, if there are two different versions, uh, and, and practice because that is positively going to be the next location that we're going to do. And uh, everyone ran away before. <laughs> you got to change your pick. Um, so yeah, go ahead and download that now. I haven't decided on a car yet, so just kind of familiarize yourself with the course. Uh, I'm gonna make an official announcement, like you know, by way of a, a video. Uh, probably pretty soon, maybe maybe, maybe today. Maybe I'll, I'll make that video today. What, what is today? I gotta go to the bathroom here, but um, so it's April 10th. Yeah, maybe I'll just I'll, I'll make it today, today or tomorrow. And then that way people can start practicing for it and just kind of getting their mind set around that course. And then I'll, I'll, I'll try to pick a, a good car. That'll be interesting for us. But anyway, uh, have a good night or a good day, everyone. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you. Woohoo! That's a new thing I just did in a future video <laughs> or a future live stream. See you all. Thank you all for joining in. Um, I'll talk to you all later. I got to go to the bathroom. Bye.